is Tyler Trott, car number 11. Car number 47 will be next door from Norfolk in the Sullivan's Premier Glass Car. Here is car number 47 and Chris Bagnall. Then we go to car number 48. That's the Wheeler's Automotive Machine from North Haven, Connecticut, Marcello Rafano. Car number 22 will be next in line, a driver who comes from Hampton. Chris Sanford. Then it's the RAR chassis, number 53, from Jewett City for Paul Borden, Jr. And a newcomer will be in car number 26 from Plainfield, Zachary Stevens. Again, our sponsors for the Deer Stocks include Paradiso Insurance, Jeff Ramsey Carpentry, New England Racing Fuels. A look at the points going in. It is Trace Meyer leading by just eight points as we are green and racing to the bottom of turn number one. And Zach Robinson come to play hardball tonight as he steps on the gas, pulls away off the second turn by two car lanes, and Matt, there's the point leader. He's in trouble at the bottom of turn two. Yeah, he was in the grass, so definitely in no man's land. A great side-by-side -side battle for second and third. Nicole Chambrello, who has had a wicked start to her season, holding her own against Mike Hopkins. Now, Mike Hopkins has been a real strong competitor in the last two outings here at the Speedway. Hopkins moves into the third spot, and the number three, Ryan Fern, moves from seventh to challenge for the third spot. They're wheel-to-wheel -wheel and side-by-side. -side. Bottom of turn number four. A white car that almost looks like a puzzle comes off the turn and moves to the podium. Fern will now move into the third spot, then it's side-by-side -side racing at the bottom of the top ten. So Ryan Fern will try to solve that number 78 of Hopkins, who was in front of him in second place. Then we have Denbeck followed by Michael. Secor, now Johnny Walker, is giving him something to think about in car number 01. And remember what we say about Tyler Trott. His best laps are usually at the end of the race. Same can be said about Dembeck. They kind of patiently march to the front. You almost don't even know they're there. And then all of a sudden, they're a huge factor. Speaking of factors, Chris Hopkins, a graduate from our Legends Car Division. Michael Hopkins, the son of Chris Hopkins, moves into the second spot. And he has reeled in on the back bumper of car number 14 for Zach Robinson out of Putnam, Connecticut. Zach sets a blistering pace at the point, but now Michael Hopkins is glued to his back bumper map. Top three cars, nose to tail, as they head off turn two. In a great battle, a little deeper in the field for fifth. Here comes Secord on the inside, and he tries to barnstorm his way into the top five, getting by Dembeck. Things are heating up at the front of the field in the three-car birdcage. Zach Robinson looking for his third career win, and the man almost sitting on his lap is Mike Hopkins. He certainly is, and Hopkins just doesn't want to give up. Meanwhile, earlier in practice today, Secor, a former champion, said he wasn't happy with the race car. Now he must be smiling just a bit because he's worked his way into the top five. Where is Walker? There is Tyler Trott right with them, and Alexandra Fern. Bid for second now. The Safeco Puzzle Car makes its magic nose in the inside lane, puts the hammer down off turn two. Here comes Fern, but Hopkins just doesn't give up. He tries to shake him off as they head to the bottom of turn three. So Ryan, the Riddler Fern, trying to dive bomb his way underneath Hopkins. He comes up empty. They springboard their way across the line with the Zach Robinson in command. He is led from the beginning. A couple of veterans are battling for a position and Johnny Walker getting the best of it. Then it's Tyler Trott against Alexander Fern. So there are plenty of fireworks all over the track. There's no question about it as they rumble off turn number four. The leader still remains Zach Robinson, but he is definitely hunted down and can feel the heat as Michael Hopkins with that number 78 machine literally runs in his tire tracks, Matt. Oh, they almost touch in turn two. Fern is there. Then Brandon Michaels coming to the top. So is it Walker. It is, oh, one car steps out of line, but it is Michael Hopkins who guards the second spot, and that'll work to the advantage of the Robinson machine, still the leader of the pack, nine laps and counting. Ryan Fern was harassing the back bumper of the Hopkins car. The Hopkins moves up high. And here comes Fern as he is able to swoop his way underneath Hopkins and move into second. 
and trying to make the duplicate move is Brandon Michael, and Michael is on the verge of moving into the top three. They rumble back to the line, and Michaels now is on the podium. He applies the pressure. Walker is coming, and he's not walking. He's running, Matt, as he's now among the top five cars. Five circuits to go. Zachary Robinson has had a roller coaster season so far. Will he be able to, well, pull it off tonight? Because here comes Ryan Fern. The puzzle car looks puzzling. Zach Robinson sideways just a bit. Off the turn. Robinson corrects. The back end spins around. And Ryan Fern is the new leader of the event. As Zach Robinson gets crossed out. And your show mode, and you can see what happened to Zach Robinson. Uses vehicles provided by Family Ford of Enfield. If you're in the market for a Ford Super Duty truck, or maybe you'd like a Mustang convertible, Family Ford of Enfield is the number one volume Ford dealer in Northern Connecticut and is located not far from the Stafford Motor Speedway on Route 190. The green is out, and it is a dogfight battle at the point with Ryan Fern, the puzzle machine, not looking so puzzling as the leader of the field, but here comes Johnny Walker, Brandon Michael in second, Tyler Trotz coming to the front. Meanwhile, Chris Hopkins' son, Mike Hopkins, still trying to hold off in the battle. Oh, Tyler Trott gets out of shape, Matt. And he is around at turn number four. So a lot of smoke surrounding that number 11 car. An indication of the yellow and green flags in an X formation. Safeco number three car for Ryan Fern. And then the number 74 machine of Brandon Michael. Matt, Brandon Michael was not with us a lot in 2015, but you wouldn't know it by the way he came back for 2016. Yeah, he said not only was he going to be a regular this season, but he was also going for the championship. So we'll see what kind of restart he can get against Ryan Fern. As Fern is usually pretty efficient on these double file restarts. Remember Johnny Walker trying to win two in a row. So we are getting ready to turn him loose, perhaps for the final time with five laps to go, and Ryan Fern with a slender advantage. And here is Michael, maybe got a helping hand from Walker. So a little forearm shiver gives Brandon Michael the lead. As they blast their way, Fern takes over. So Ryan Fern has wrestled the lead away from Michael. They helter-skelter their way into the third corner. Walker is a factor. Any one of three cars could win it as they scramble off the fourth turn. Remember, Johnny Walker started back in the 11th spot, and he is like possessed to the inside of the racetrack. The Dunleavy-sponsored car muscles its way to the bottom. On the outside is the 74 of Brandon Michael. They're closer than most people park as they head down the back straightaway, but that's not the only story of double-file racing, Matt. Look back for the fourth and the fifth spot. Secor is there. Hopkins is there. And then it's the point leader, Bayer, and he's being hunted down by Alexandra Fern, and Denbeck is also coming to the front. Three circuits remaining, a mile and a half left, Matt, in this feature event. And Brandon Michael gets the best of Walker to establish himself in second. It's hard to believe that in the early laps of this race, Trace Meyer was on the grass, and it looked like he was going nowhere. He has made a great recovery. In the spotlight, Ryan Fern, two to go, and the big question mark is hovering over fourth and fifth. Dave Secor is trying to hold off the determined Trace Byer. And he's doing it with a lot of aggression. Meanwhile, Byer sees a little daylight inside shot as they come down the back straightaway and headed to turn number three. White flag is out. Leader is the puzzle car. Brian Fern in command. Second. All over him is Walker trying everything to get by. And then there's that side-by-side -side battle, which could determine the outcome of the points in 2016. But Trace Byer has now moved into the top four, and it's still a side-by-side -side race for the fifth spot. Final turn off turn number four. Ladies and gentlemen, on top of his game here tonight, he started in seventh from East Long Meadow, Massachusetts, the Safeco number three for Ryan Fern. To finish in the runner-up spot will be Brandon Michael, unofficially in the seventh. Young enough to climb on the roof. 
He sure is. And Darren Ayotte is down there to meet and greet our first feature event winner in TSI, Harley Davidson Night. Yes, I am. Been a very ecstatic Ryan Fern in this number three car. Finally back in victory lane. Your first win since 2014. And take me through that restart on lap number 10 with the battle with Brandon Michael. Oh, wow. I mean, Brandon Michael, you got to jump on me on that restart, but Rad Auto Machine, we got the power to drag him down the front stretch. Just send it really hard into turn one. That's all you got to do. Keep him on the outside and just blow by him on the back stretch. But uh, I also want to apologize to the 78 and the 14. If I made contact with the 14, I'm sorry. But I know I definitely made contact with the 78. But I mean, I'm sorry about Rubin's race and I was just going for the win. But again, I apologize. I just got to thank Safeco Foam for being the main sponsor on the car. I got to thank Rad Auto Machine again for the power. We got to thank the Aru family for running the track. 811, call before you digs. Napa for keeping everything running here. And I also want to thank again Paradiso. And I also want to thank Jeff Ramsey for uh, the contingencies this year. It's really great. He did what he had to do to get a win. Ryan Fern continues to improve in 2016, his first win of the season. Let's head over to John Gates for the rest of our podium. John? Okay, this young man come all the way from the mid-pack, man. The 74 car looks so good tonight. Brandon, Michael, congratulations. Uh, Runner-up, do you have anything for Ryan? Uh, I think if we had another yellow, he just checked out. Me and Johnny, we were having a blast battling back and forth there. Um, I got to congratulate Ryan on a great win. Uh, Got to thank all my sponsors that got me here this year. Gary from Connecticut Lawn Care, Rad Auto Machine, Variety Transmissions, Hub International Insurance, uh, Bedrock Farm, Trace Moon New England, Route 10 Tire, and I'm sure there's more I'm forgetting. <laughs> there he is, Brandon Michael. Good run in number 74 car. Congratulations to a great driver. Here we go, third place, Johnny Walker, man. Not bad, coming from, I believe, 11th. Yeah, it was 11th. It was. Uh, this is the ra This is how racing should be. You know, clean, fun. Uh, everyone in the top three. Hats off to them for running a good race. I got to thank my sponsors, Dunleavy's Truck and Trailer Repair. They're the best in Connecticut. Uh, Garrett Trywell and Carpentry, the contingency sponsors. Uh, Jeff Ramsey, um, uh, Carpentry, uh, Berardi Transmissions, Red Auto Machine, and uh, Paradiso Insurance, Sunoco, Stafford for the great track here. Uh, that. This is what this is what it's going to take to, to to finish great at the end of the year. Thank you to my crew, and my family. There he is, top three for Johnny Walker. Good run and a good ride in the zero one car. And we're going to go back up to Matt and Ben. Well,